But that's why I'm back in this thing back Pop up in this thing back Drop, 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 drop in this thing back What's up Wagwan, Etta Seng, it's Lexa C. Welcome back to my channel if you are not new here and if you're new here, welcome. Hi guys, oh, it's a Valentine's, get ready with me. Um, Now Valentine is coming. Where is your boyfriend? You are sitting at home, lonely. <laughs> All of us are hun because it's here mofo five if you're living in the UK. Um, But I thought I'd do a Valentine's get ready with me because I just thought it would be fun to do my makeup, get, get dressed up as though I'm going somewhere when Lord knows that is absolutely against the law at this point. However, I do know that I do have some um people who watch me who aren't in the UK. So you may potentially be able to go out and I hope I can give you some ideas as to how to style your hair, do your makeup and um, get dressed up ahead of Valentine's Day. So if you're interested in seeing how I got to this, because I think I look delectable if I do say so myself, like I genuinely am in love with this look and I have to recreate it when outside is open for a date night of some sort, because ciao! <laughs> anyway, he can't see this and be sweating, period. <laughs> So before I get started and actually um, start doing my hair and makeup for you guys to see, I just wanted to let you know what I'm raving about. Today I am raving about Ana Luisa NY and they've been kind enough to sponsor this video. So thank you and shout out to Ana Luisa. They are a jewellery company and y'all know I'm nothing without my accessories. I love that some of you have already asked about my necklace because you've seen me wearing it. I couldn't resist um, and I just, yeah, I absolutely love the pieces. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about Ana Luisa. But at the moment, Ana Luisa are having a sale, a Valentine's Day sale. So yes, it's timely. Yes, it is themed, but they're having a Valentine's Day sale. Um, it started on January the 14th. I currently am wearing some of the pieces. So I'm just going to show you some close-ups of what what I grabbed from Ana Luisa. So they sent me three pieces um, and I chose them specially to suit my style. So you guys know I love my jewellery really really dainty and just you know delicate and gorgeous. So the butterfly necklace, first of all I love butterflies. I just think they're beautiful and I don't know what I feel like I had like a really spiritual connection with one when I was in Ghana but anyway um I thought the necklace was beautiful so I'm really really glad um that I managed to get that I also picked up these gorgeous earrings that I have on right now so the earrings I chose because I love wearing gold you don't know I always have little gold hoops on like little gold hoops um but these just added something different like a little bit of spice to that a certain je ne sais quoi but you guys know that if you know me, you know I picked up hoops. So I actually also have a pair of hoops and that was the third piece of jewellery. I'll just show you a close up in just a sec. But they are the perfect little change to a hoop. So they're like a basic hoop, but they're not a basic hoop. Do you feel me? Okay. And um, what I really do like was the packaging though. So it came in this. Talk about minimalism. Like, I love that because it just means that once I've taken my jewellery out. I can pack those away in my jewellery box and recycle this and even cuter. It has a little message which says small packaging, less waste and more love and this is made from 100% recycled paper and it says please continue the cycle. Now I obviously recycle but I think it's important just to minimise waste. I hate getting a really small package in a really big box like I don't know if any of you feel like that, but I genuinely do not like it. So Ana Luisa is 100% carbon neutral with their emissions, and I appreciate that so much. But I think it's important to know that the companies, again, that you're giving your money to are caring for the planet. Like, we are going to live here. So one thing I also really like about their pricing is that it's fair. There's no huge luxury markup. They start from $39. I think that's amazing when it comes to pricing, especially for really good quality jewellery. And they have an amazing 365 day warranty. So if you're not completely satisfied with the product that you have, you can replace or refund it within a year. I think that is absolutely nuts. Like genuinely, I think that the pieces that I have on and a lot of the other gorgeous pieces on the website are a fantastic gift for yourself or the ones you love. So if you thinking of treating somebody this valentine's day i feel like you know where to go you are gonna buy it for someone for valentine's day which i do genuinely recommend especially the necklace fellas if you're watching and you got a girl and you want to buy her something 
I can't tell you since I wore this, I think last week, I've got so many comments in my Instagram DMs asking about this necklace and I just really wanted to be able to let you lot know um, that there's a sale happening. So yeah, if you're trying to buy it for someone or if you're buying it for yourself, last day for standard shipping um, internationally will be the 5th of February. So do click the link in my description box and shop that sale. So I'm gonna definitely get some more stuff in the sale, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm super grateful to Anna Luisa for sending me these pieces. I can imagine how I would stack these with my other really dainty necklaces um, when I'm going for more casual outfits. And I definitely do want their Chloe ring. If you don't know what I'm talking about, like I said, click the link in my description box and head to the website and check it out. But yeah, absolutely thrilled with these pieces I've got from Ana Luisa and I'm just really super happy to be bringing you guys this discount. So thank you to Ana Luisa for sending me the pieces and for sponsoring this video. So guys, happy shopping. I hope you get some beautiful Valentine's gifts. Let's get into my makeup. Oh child, so I'm bringing out everything today. I know some people don't like doing their makeup, um, but me, I don't have that problem. I, like I so much love it. I don't know why, but this side is feeling tight. Sure. Cool. I love doing my makeup, so I'm going to just grab the things. When I do my makeup, you know what's coming out. My little paddle mirror from Ikea. So naturally, we're going to start with eyebrows. My skin is already prepped. So we're going to start with brows. I'm trying to keep the brows pretty, pretty light. I don't want to do a madness with my brows because I do want to do a nice eye look. Oh, look at me chatting to you guys. So young, so naive, forgetting that I was going to speed this up and that I didn't want this video to be three hours long. So I am going to come in and out of the voiceover. There will be points when I speak to you, speak to you, and there'll be points where you just hear me telling you what I'm doing. Okay, the wig fixing spray just wanted to be drying. So we're just going to leave that for now because I don't have time for that. That's bad vibes. So as usual for foundation, we're using our NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the colour Caracas. I think it's pretty good for my skin at this point. Guys, this video is going to be very choppy because this process is very chaotic. Like, I can't even begin to describe just how chaotic this process is. But anyway. So as you lot can see, I'm clearly doing up chatty patty. My mouth is moving. I am talking. I actually wanted to talk to you guys about love languages in the spirit of Valentine's Day. Um, I don't feel like Val's Day has to be all that, especially if you're not in a relationship or um, thinking about one. But I do think it is a good time to think about love. So my OG subscribers will know about my lockdown love languages video where I asked my pals to talk about their love languages. But today I wanted to get into self-love languages and help you guys to explore or learn about your self-love language if you haven't thought about it or if you, you're just not sure that you have one, if you don't have a way that you specifically love on yourself. So the general five love languages are words of affirmation, receiving gifts, acts of service, physical touch and quality time. Self-love is perhaps one of the most important ways to protect yourself. So maintaining boundaries, recognising abuse or manipulation and just knowing when you're not being loved to the standard that you set for others. That's really, really great. But what about how you treat yourself? So what do you do to show yourself some love and what does that look like? So I think using the same five love languages, I found um, this little infographic that was published by Blessing Manifesting, which details all the love languages and then centers them around self. So I just wanted to talk about them with you. So despite being the social butterfly that I evidently am, <laughs> and despite being quite extroverted as a person, I am someone who does enjoy spending time alone. And I think the reason why I enjoy my alone time is because I am very aware of what my self-love language is. So let's start with the self-love languages. Um, before we do that, you're about to see us get real up close and personal yep there we go so i'm just starting my eyes i was talking you guys through this but you should be able to see on screen what i'm using 
um but yeah that is why we're all zoomed but since we're talking personally and we're physically up close and personal as in you guys are in my eye let's just carry on chatting so physical touch your self-love language being physical touch means that you want to do things that make your body feel good or focus on your physical being so that can include massages soft blankets physical activity spa days skincare routine so like taking time out to do your skincare routine swimming or sketching or any of those other kinds of things that you like to do that are physical um, acts of service can be doing or arranging things for yourself that make you feel good so therapy acts of kindness scheduling cleaning delegating or going out those will be doing things for yourself that will help you feel good there's receiving gifts so you can treat yourself by purchasing things that make you happy so maybe little trips craft supplies comfy clothes little gifts indulgences like chocolates um, and investing in yourself there's also quality time so that's spending time alone hobbies um, doing things that you love that could be meditation creative time drawing um, taking yourself on dates and just relaxing And finally, words of affirmation. And this one, I think a lot of people execute quite a lot when it comes to self-love. So giving yourself pep talks and encouraging yourself. Positive self-talk, which I think is so, 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 so important. Like, how do you speak to yourself? Do you speak to yourself with kindness? Do you give yourself grace? Um, Do you believe in daily affirmations? Do you have the things that you say to yourself? Journaling, so sitting down and writing down how you're feeling or what your plans are and equally upholding and maintaining your mantras these are some of the ways that you can exercise your self-love languages so if you think about it and you look at the breakdown or you listen to what I broke down what is your self-love language do you like to buy yourself a little something when you're feeling down I know I do but my main self-love language I know is quality time if I want to make myself feel good I will spend time alone and do the things that I love I will watch films because I love to watch films I will listen to music on 100% volume through my home pod or my airpods and I will just kind of do my own thing that is what I do when I need a little pick me up so yeah I hope that you guys um, have a little think about what your self-love language is and decide on um, how you can continue to execute that to pick yourself up Valentine's Day is not all about everyone else it can be about you and I think it's always a good opportunity to love on yourself just that bit harder um, since everybody's gonna be talking about love anyway okay all right so now my makeup's pretty much done I am just gonna end the voice over here and chat to you lot So right now I'm going back to my original style idea, which is just me. Bringing this all the way forward and then hitting them with a swoop. But before I do that, I need to glue down that little bit right there. I 
this is giving new lip. It's not what I want. As you lot can actually very clearly see, this is quite a chaotic get ready with me because I keep changing how I want to look. I think I like this. It's definitely not glossy enough, so I'm going to gloss it up. But I like this. Yes, that, uh, I'm gonna add for real by Pat McGrath. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tip of the nose highlight. Now we need to consider a romantic fragrance. So I'm gonna give you two options. If you want to smell really like, as I say, second, second date material, we're gonna say YSL Black Opium. It's very much like an evening scent. It'll definitely go with one of the outfits I'm about to show you. So if that's what you're after, we're gonna say a little bit of mm, Black Opium, okay? But also, another one that is, I'm going to say definitely a head turner, is Givenchy Live Irresistible. It is also quite strong, but I feel like it's more wearable in the daytime as well as at night. I'm actually going to mix them today. I haven't layered a fragrance in a while, but yeah. Mm. Oh, I like that together. Oh! Yeah, I like that together. That might be my Friday night scent if I ever get to go out on Friday night again. <laughs> oh yeah, I like, oh, it's giving date night for sure. Like for sure, this is sticking up and it's doing my nut in. It is doing me nut in. Oh, that's a good scent. I'm sorry, if you have these two, please layer them and smell it. YSL Black Opium mixed with Givenchy live irresistible it is i smell rich okay obviously we need to accessorize so i'm going back to my lovely jewelry from anna luisa and we're gonna start with the necklace that i showed you so it's the beautiful dainty butterfly necklace and a couple of you have already asked me about it so i'm glad i'm able to show it to you guys but also i'm happy that you know i can introduce you all to the sale that is going on now. Okay. Okay. Can you see that? You see that there? My beautiful little necklace. For outfit number one, I'm going to wear the gorgeous heart safety pin style earrings so cute gorgeous let's get outfit number one on i'm gonna stand up so you can see the full fit um so we're just gonna quickly relocate but yeah oh So this colour is definitely my favourite of the two, but it's just very neat. And I got this in a size 10 from Opoly. So because I think that the red dress calls for a different pair of earrings, I'm just going to change and put the hoops on so I can show you this outfit too. I honestly love these bags that the jewellery comes in. I just love them. Oh, these earrings feel like, 
I don't know how to describe them like oh yeah okay I love this I love this now let me just go and stand up and show you guys the full fit So as you lot can see, this is the exact same dress, same size, size 10, just in a red. Not really a red babe, but I'm digging this. I do think this looks nice. Ooh, I might start wearing red. Would you not think? I want you to vote down below black or red okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me i did plan for it to be chatty but you'll know that i opted for a voiceover when being chatty wasn't working <laughs> for doing my makeup but i hope you guys love how the overall look turned out um i really really wanted to show you um an alternative to wearing a black dress even though i know that i default to wearing a black dress but i do think the red kind of suits me but we'll see which one they likes more We got to see. <laughs> I'm so awkward and annoying. But anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, whatever time you're watching this. I hope you have an even better Valentine's Day. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. I really love hearing from you guys. And also comment down below what your love languages are so I can get to know you guys in the same way I want you guys to get to know me. See you in my next one. Bye. For the Maserati, she can party. For the Bentley, you can bend it. Oh baby, choose where you wanna cruise, yeah. I buy you shoes, why did you be true, yeah. Hey. Oh, you know the color of the Oh la la, baby, be my love. And we go there till forever. Check your balance. Just the humble.